OpenAI has launched a new web browser called Atlas. Naturally, a lot of people are wondering how it compares to Chrome. Is it really a meaningful step forward or should we stick with the tried and tested? Also, how does it hold up next to Perplexity's own AI browser, Comet? In this video, I'll explain what Atlas does, how it works, and share an honest view on whether it's really ready to replace your current browser. So first of all, what is Atlas? Atlas is OpenAI's first full web browser, built on the Chromium engine that powers Google Chrome, Edge, and Brave. That means it feels familiar, pages load quickly, web apps behave normally, and it's stable from the start. The key difference is that ChatGPT isn't just added in, it's part of the browser experience itself. There's a ChatGPT sidebar that can summarize, explain, translate, or compare anything you highlight on a page. There's also agent mode, which lets the AI perform simple, guided actions, like filling in forms, researching topics, or handling small multi-step tasks, always though with the user's approval. You could, for example, ask it to search for a product and then add it to a shopping cart. Atlas also introduces memories, where you can save small pieces of context like writing preferences or recurring topics. It's optional and transparent. You can review or delete stored information whenever you like. At the moment, Atlas is available on macOS with Windows, iOS and Android versions in development. All ChatGPT users can try it, though Agent Mode is still in preview for Plus and Pro users. So what makes Atlas different? While browsers like Chrome and Safari are designed for navigation and simplicity, Atlas behaves more like an assistant within a page. You can highlight a complex paragraph and ask for a simpler explanation, or have it summarize key points from an article without leaving the page itself. This makes browsing a little bit smoother, avoiding constant tab switching or copying text into ChatGPT separately. It's not a revolutionary change, but it does make certain tasks less tedious. Agent mode is interesting also, though limited for now. It's slower than doing most tasks yourself and it occasionally struggles with accuracy and specificity, but as a concept, it definitely shows some of the most promise. If it becomes faster and more reliable over time, this is one of the features that could really revolutionize web browsing compared to what we currently have. It would eventually be able to handle basic online tasks completely independently. I would say Agent Mode is simultaneously the most impressive feature as well as the one that is most experimental. Like I said, when it gets faster and more reliable, that's the point where it will really incentivize people to change web browsers. It's worth mentioning that privacy has also been taken into account. Browsing data isn't used for training unless you opt in. Memories are transparent and incognito mode disconnects ChatGPT entirely. It's a cautious but reassuring approach. So in terms of Atlas versus Google Chrome, I would say Chrome remains the benchmark for speed, reliability and its extensive extension ecosystem. After more than a decade of refinement, it's still the most complete browser for most people. Where Chrome is adding AI features gradually through Gemini, Atlas is designed around AI from the start. The Assistant is ever-present and integrated more naturally into browsing, though it's still early and it will improve over time. For now, Chrome's maturity gives it the edge, but that might not always be the case. If your current workflow depends on extensions or developer tools, Chrome is still the better choice, but Atlas offers an early look on how web browsing might evolve. Less about clicking and searching, more about asking and refining. The only people I'd recommend fully switching over are those who already use ChatGPT very frequently or those who like to embrace the latest tech and stay ahead of the curve. Another comparison is with Perplexity's Comet browser, which takes a similar approach overall, especially with AI. It's built on Chromium and includes a conversational assistant, but leans more heavily into automation. It can connect to your calendar, manage shopping, and even handle emails through optional connectors. That flexibility though comes with some risk. Comet faced some early security concerns around prompt injection attacks where websites could manipulate the AI. 
Perplexity says these issues have been resolved, but they highlight some of the challenges of giving AI agents real control over browsing. Atlas takes a more measured route. Its agent mode requires explicit confirmation for every action, and it has clearer boundaries on what it can do. It feels more limited, but also safer, designed to prevent mistakes rather than to maximize automation. But like I said, it's also early days, and I'm sure OpenAI will expand both its features and its accuracy and depth. So in terms of who should use which browser, if you're on Mac and already use ChatGPT often, Atlas is definitely worth trying out. It's pretty stable, works smoothly, and hints at what AI-assisted browsing might become. Once it reaches Windows and mobile, it could grow into a serious alternative. If you rely on extensions, developer tools, or cross-platform syncing, Chrome still makes the most sense, and overall probably makes the most sense for most people. Atlas isn't just a full replacement yet, more of a preview of future possibilities. Right now, it's mainly suited to early adopters and those curious about AI workflows. It's not going to transform how you browse overnight, but it's an encouraging sign of where things might be heading. Atlas is an early experiment, functional but clearly aiming at the future. It shows what's possible when AI is built into the browser rather than just added on top. But it still feels like a work in progress, I would say. It's competent, occasionally useful, and generally pleasant to use, but not enough to make most people switch from Chrome or Safari or even Firefox just yet. Still, the idea behind it is important. If OpenAI continues refining it, improving speed, safety, and agent reliability, Atlas could evolve into something genuinely influential. It has the potential to reshape how we think about browsers and the web, even if it's not there yet. So for now, it's worth exploring, but not essential. Atlas represents a strong first step forward towards a new kind of browsing experience, one that feels more interactive and contextual, even if it's still finding its footing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do want to keep up to date with all of the latest AI tech and updates, I do have a free weekly AI newsletter, which you can find in the description. So feel free to check that out if you're interested. And if you like videos like this, I'd really appreciate if you could like and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.